Okay, so I'm here with uh, Pastor uh, Chama's uncle. Yeah. He's here in the background Mama. talking. <laughs> and then his friend. And your name again? Simon. Simon. Yes. So Simon came because uh, there's, uh, yeah. he has keloids and it's gotten yeah. really bad. Yes. And he mentioned that he had treatment here in... UTS. UTS, which Zambia. is in Zambia. Yes. And so it all went away, but then within six months, it was all back again. Yes. Uh, and so that's because it is in your bloodstream. Yes. Correct? Okay, so let me yes, go around this and see. Yes. And so he said that he met somebody at the hospital yes. who was also taking the same treatment and they took the medication from South Africa and actually went away. Yes. But he can't remember the name of the medication. Yes. And so we're trying to see how best we can help um, our brother here. Yes. And you mentioned too that here in Zambia, the problem is that when you have a, when people get surgery in Zambia for the keloid, they're supposed to have continuous treatment. But yes. because it's first it's expensive and then the appointments are like six months out, then what happens is the keloids grow back. They grow back. Yeah, they grow back. Yeah. And he's thinking that if the treatments were like more closer together, yes. you know, for many people who have this issue, then yes. the keloids would go away. But because yes. it takes so long to grow back. Yes. And can you explain, you said the pain and what happens? Yes, there's a lot of pain, like burns, especially yeah. at night. Yeah. And there's some itching. Itching, yeah. Yes. Okay. And others, the uh, doctors, they advise us that it can be better even to have the medicine than the surgery. Because oh, okay. yes, the medicine can be the much better, better than the surgery. Once, yes, okay, okay, okay. than the surgery. Okay, yes. sure. So, and then go ahead. What are you going to yes. say? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'll take pictures of two. Yes. So guys, with that said, I'm about to pray for him just so that the Lord would clean his bloodstream that it wouldn't return. And we're just praying that if anybody knows anyone who has keloids and you know of a treatment that he can use, because of the treatment his friend has in South Africa, he has no contact with the friend anymore. It just not, well, isn't even a friend, he just met him. He doesn't know his name and he's tried to find him and think of the medication name, he can't find it. So if anybody has an idea of treatment for keloids, if they have it in South Africa, then I'm sure that they have it in America because it said the guy used it, the medication was completely gone. So um, we just want to see if there's anybody who knows about keloid treatments, uh, please let us know so then we can help um, Simon here to get the keloids fit, um, gone. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, Simon, is there anything else you want to add? Uh, I think that's all. Okay. But uh, if anybody can help me, I will really appreciate it. Okay. Because it sometimes it makes me uncomfortable. Sure, sure, yeah. In the, yeah. Especially in the midst of people. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, no it problem. makes uncomfortable. No yes. problem. Yes. They have a beautiful smile and a beautiful face. Yes. So despite yes. the keloids, you know. <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so keep smiling despite yeah. the situation. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, I finally made it guys. I'm here at um, South Africa, uh, transiting back home. Uh, the travel and the trip to um, Zambia was amazing. It was amazing and it felt like a second home to me. Um, it's, it's so unfortunate. I miss it already, being here at this airport. I really do miss it. And um, a lot of amazing things happened that I didn't get to vlog with you guys. So I think two days ago, from the videos you guys have seen, it ended two days ago. And two days prior before I left, uh, we went to a hospital. We met a young man who needed, um, who had an issue with his head, and I, I prayed for it. And the Lord said He wanted us to take him to the hospital. So I had to t drive two hours. We took him to the hospital, and I feel like the Lord did all of that um, in order for um, opportunity to arise for us to be at the hospital. So as we were at the hospital, I felt the Holy Spirit tell me to go and to pray for people. And so I went to the room where pe most people were waiting, and I just began to pray. Uh, for people who were waiting to see the doctor and many people were uh, healed of their ailments uh, just pain in their bodies, breathing issues too as well one lady had glaucoma and we prayed for her and she was able to see, she wasn't able to see one eye, she was able to see it's all glory to God and one thing I always said with the guys is the Lord has so humbled me in Zambia uh, with really having this gift of healing manifest because the Zambian people, their reaction is so um, they just have no reaction. <laughs> so I pray for healing, and I'm like, is the pain gone? Or the lady's like, yes, I can see. Thank you. 
and she just walk off. I'm like, dang, Lord. <laughs> Everybody was like that. Like, completely no reaction. I was there for about two hours. It got to the point where I found myself tired and even sweating. And I just even said in my heart, man, Lord, I'm tired. And I was so convicted because it, it reminded me of Jesus when he went out to the areas and he would go in. He said healing the sick, you know, and um, many times he was there for hours. You know, people would come from all over just to come see him. So when one person started getting healed, everybody then wanted prayer. And before I know, I just go around through the whole room just praying for people. And I found myself like, wow, see how... See how quickly I could be ungrateful, how quickly I could be in my flesh. Whereas Jesus, he had a flood of the whole town come and he gave himself completely to the people to heal them and to touch them. And even when, even when he was weary, he didn't complain about being tired. And so easily how I complain about being tired. And I was like, man, Lord, I'm such a hot mess, you know. I've always desired this gift of healing and I see now the, I see now, um, what it comes with, if that makes sense. And so um, so we prayed, you know, and a lot of people were touched by that. And I was humbled because I remember the Lord told me uh, concerning the reaction of people. Why am I concerned with the results? You know, not results. Why am I concerned with the reaction of people? Like, do I want to, because, you know, a lot of times in America, if somebody gets healed, they're like, oh, my gosh, I can see. And a lot of times it puffs up that vain glory. And I realized, man, I still have so much pride that I wanted people to react in a certain way to say, wow, they've been healed. But no one in Zambia, everybody was so, even like children, they're like, yeah, I feel better. And you just walk away. I'm like, dang, Lord. <laughs> So I remember you saying in my heart, man, Lord, I th this, I was like, this is like a, a thankless job. And I realized, wow, I made it about me. I'm such a hot mess, guys, really. And that's why I'm so glad the Lord allowed the gift of healing to manifest in Samia because it, it really has humbled me. It really, and really also, it brought up in the surface the pride and being glory desire that I have in my heart. So I'm so glad that the Lord uh, revealed that to me. And then we went to a uh, prison. Uh, the Lord put it on uh, Pastor Chama's brother's heart. Hey, you guys should go to prison. And I said, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. And then when we were in prayer, Pastor Chama got confirmation from the Lord that he wanted us to go to prison. And that's when we had to go to the hospital. So uh, we stayed at the hospital for a good amount of time before I knew the prison was closed. And uh, when I woke up the next morning, I got laziness and the Bible promises. And I was like, man, Lord, and the scripture gave us was on hospitality. About when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison, you visited me. So I knew the Lord saying, I need you to go to the prison. So I went to the prison, and guys, it was wonderful. They welcomed them. Zambia. I'm leaving Zambia. And I'll have updates for you guys as far as the trip, how it went. Goodbye, beloved Zambia.